Hi guys, so um, I'm going to be making a video on hamsters in heat and this applies mainly, well, only to female hamsters, especially Syrian hamsters. Um, so I'm just wanting to give you guys a little um, heads up that this video will contain a little bit of TMI information. I have done some research on it, so I'm, I want to make a video on it because I haven't seen anyone else do really videos on this really that much. So this will have some content in it that may be disturbing to some younger kids or whatever who don't want to hear this stuff because heat is kind of like a hamster's menstruation or a menstrual cycle except for it's technically not considered menstruation. It's something different. There's a special word for it. Um, and this will be talking about hamsters' reproductive systems and um, what they do during their heat or their cycle. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that it will contain some stuff and some words and some language, not language, but like words about hamsters that people, some people might not feel comfortable hearing. So click out if you can't handle body anatomy of animals. So let's just get started. So Cheerio is currently in heat, but she's in her igloo, so I'm not going to wake her up because when you wake up a hamster in heat, it can end really badly because the hamsters, they are um, very, like, spunky when they're in heat and they're just not themselves. They are usually very quiet. They stay in their igloo all day because when females go into that cycle, they are underground burrowed and they're trying, you know, that's where they would look after their young. So they're just kind of sitting there all day. They get out just occasionally to eat food or to drink water, but otherwise they don't come out. So a few of you guys may know that a hamster's menstrual or heat cycle is called estrus. And when a hamster goes into estrus, it's very important that you leave your hamster alone. Do not try to pick up your hamster during this time um, unless she is out of her hut. Do not, I quote, do not take her out of her hut when she is in heat because she may bite you or she may lose trust in you. Also, hamsters go into their estrus cycle once every four days. So they are in heat a lot. Um, most, like, um, human, human women go into their menstrual cycle um, every month, but hamsters, it's every four days because hamsters' lifespan's obviously shorter, so it's they're going to go into heat more often. And then dogs and cats, I'm not really sure how it is for them, um, but I, I don't, both my dogs are fixed, so I don't know how they have that. Um, but um, hamsters, you don't really, you don't get hamsters fixed, especially not female hamsters. So um, one thing I wanted to say about a hamster's estrus is that you want to feed her more when she's in estrus. At least that's what I've heard. Um, because she's going to be burning off a lot more. Like, you know, she's going to exercise more and stuff. When she's in her wheel, she's going to be burning off more. So you're going to want to feed her just a little bit more. Or it could be the opposite. You could feed her a little less, depending on your hamster. I feed Cheerio more when she is in her estrus cycle. Um, another thing is hamsters reach their... Now I'm going to be using terms so like I said hamsters reach their sexual maturity I think it's like 28 days um, after birth so when they're 28 days old basically a month old they reach their sexual maturity and they begin estrus and um, their first estrus cycle is the worst um, luckily hamster hamsters usually when they're adopted are like one to three months old so you probably won't have to go through their first estrus cycle but um cheerio was i think probably around two or three months whenever i adopted her and i've had her for five months and so think of all the cycles she's been through another thing is when your hamster is in her heat cycle she will have her eyes will be kind of cloudy she will have a very distinct odor that is very unpleasant and pungent it smells kind of like um nasty like vomit it smells gross it smells like pee and vomit mixed together i don't know how to explain it and then if you were if you look at the area on her um genital area um there is a mucus that comes out she actually does not bleed during her heat cycle um it she will um have a little yellowish creamish mucus color mucus colored stuff that comes out and it smells and she will be releasing um, hormones that will make her whole body smell, so you always know when your hamster is in heat. 
I have her heat cycle. I mark every four days when she's in heat, so I know exactly when she'll be expected to go into heat. That way I won't disturb her too often when she's in her estrus cycle. Also, I wanted to say um, another thing about hamster's estrus. If your hamster is pregnant, um, which only will happen if you, for some reason, decide to pair it up with a unfixed male hamster um, of the same species um, or breed or whatever you want to call it, um, that's the only way your hamster would be pregnant unless you bought them pregnant. If your hamster is pregnant, um, I would recommend to bring them to the vet or if you think your hamster is pregnant. Um, you're, there is a possibility your hamster could be pregnant if she has been around any kind of male hamsters within the last couple of days or weeks. She could be pregnant if she's been around any male hamster. She could also be pregnant if she has um, extremely large like hips and um, if you bought her and you think she, if you adopted a hamster and she's kind of an older hamster, um, and there's a possibility she could be pregnant if she shows certain signs. I'm not sure of all the signs, so you'd have to look it up and research, but, um, if your hamster, if you think your hamster is pregnant or if you know your hamster is pregnant, definitely see a small animal vet because it, you can't handle a pregnancy really on your own. Um, unless you do a lot of research, so you're going to have to get specific, um, they need, I think, smaller cages when they are pregnant. I can't remember if it's smaller or larger, it depends on the hamster. Also, um, whenever their babies are born, um, do not disturb your hamster for at least three weeks. Um, do not even clean the cage, because if you do, it will put the mom through too much stress and the babies could be eaten. Cheerio is not pregnant. She will never be pregnant because I would never put her in with a male hamster. Um, but I'm just saying, if you do have a hamster that you think is pregnant, you need to go to the vet. Um, also, it's important that you never, ever try to self-breed your hamsters. Because you, trust me, you think you might think you know about breeding, but you probably don't. You have to know a lot about genetics. You also have to know everything about the age that the hamsters are and what their background are their background is so leave the breeding to professionals do not try to breed yourself because it could go wrong and both of your hamsters could die um, and male hamsters tend to eat their babies so that's just what I have come to the conclusion of Syrian hamsters can be very aggressive towards the babies um, I think the females can also but also s female Syrians will attack the male Syrians um, Female hamsters are much more spunk than um, males, and they will attack the males, if you didn't know that. Um, so don't try to self-breed your hamsters. If you want to breed your hamster, contact a breeder. Don't breed it yourself. And hamsters have to be at least five months of age before they can be bred, otherwise something can go terribly wrong. And that's for both male and female. So that's all I really can conclude about female hamsters' estrus cycles and their... Um, and their um, pregnancy cycles and stuff like that. Um, so that's basically just what I, I just wanted to make a video on it because I haven't seen many YouTube videos on it. So thanks guys for watching and I'm sorry that this was a little bit TMI, but um, it's, you know, it's, it's science of a hamster's body and it's not anything to be ashamed of talking about. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Bye.